Yo, what is going on, team, squad, fam? It's your boy, Young Man Ray. And this right here, man, is Deep Sea Frogs. And I already know what you're thinking, man. What the heck is Deep Sea Frogs, all right? And, you know, let me explain it to you real quick because it's pretty simple, all right? Deep Sea Frogs are a mixture between frogs and the Deep Sea cards, all right? And the main objective of this deck is to just send all your water monsters, just send all your cards, any, any card that you have in your deck, it don't matter, just send it to the graveyard, and then special summon it back out with Marincess, uh, Coral and Enemy, or, you know, with the Ronin Tonin effect, or even Deep Sea Artesian, and then from there, you're gonna wanna swarm Make some Link monsters, maybe maybe make an XZ monster, you know, make some Synchro monsters. And then from there, you want to stop your opponent from doing things. Uh, secondary stuff about this deck, we also want to snipe cards out of people's hands using Cataclysmic Circumpolar, whatever her last name is. Please use your imagination. When a monster is destroyed by a card effect or by battle, you can special summon this card from your hand and then randomly snipe a card out your opponent's hand. Also, when we're bouncing uh, Christron and Halky Fibrax, our main guy that we're going to be going to is Desert Locust. And whenever he hits the field, your opponent has to discard a card from their hand. So, we're going to be doing a lot of hand sniping, alright? Uh, another honorable mention, we're going to be dumping... Fury of Kyurushin into Grave. Well, hopefully we're going to be dumping this into Grave because this card has a nice graveyard effect. If this card's in the banished pile, you will be able to banish it. And then your... Uh, I was about to say opponents. I don't know why. I've recorded this video many a times. And every time I've gotten to this part, I have wanted to say opponents for some strange reason. And I'm not recording this again. So this is my obligatory explain what I've been doing this whole time and why I've been messing up and then saying I'm not recording this part again that's what's been going on you guys that that's this obligatory part right here so yeah not opponents when fury of Kyurushin is in the graveyard you can banish it right and then your monsters will not be destroyed by your opponent's card effects that's exactly what I've been wanting to say for these past like 20 recordings man and I'm glad I've finally been able to say it. It's like, it's like a boulder's been lifted off of my chest or something. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, that doesn't matter. Let's, let's talk about my problems another time. That's the reason why we play Fury of Kaiyu Rushin at 3. And we only play Torrential Tribute at 1. Because that first one that you draw, you're going to want to search that Torrential Tribute. But then after that, you're going to want to dump these, the rest of them into the graveyard for that protection. Um... Torrential Tribute isn't really that needed or that important. It's just nice to have on first turn sometimes. And it could wipe boards, so it's cool. Non-targeting removal. Pretty nice. I think I've rambled on quite enough here. You guys kind of get the gist of it. Dump everything into Grave and then Special Summon it back out. Pretty nice. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Also, we got uh, Nemesis Umbrella here. Uh, Nemesis Umbrella is going to allow us to be able to recycle stuff from the Banish pile going to be able to send our banished stuff back into our uh, deck, and then we're going to be able to special summon this card. So, a uh, nice free special summon. That's going to get us some advantage to get into these synchro monsters. And also, we have uh, Gradle Slime Jr. here. Uh, Gradle Slime Jr. is going to be our special summon target from uh, our Hockey Firebrax plays because Gradle Slime Jr. is an Aqua Level 2 monster. So, we can Ronin Tonin and Gradle Slime our way into a totally awesome pretty easily and then have a setup for our Halky Fiber X plays for the next turn. So, yeah, that's pretty nice. Glad I got to explain everything about the deck without messing up too bad. Let's go on to those replays, man. A few moments later. Alrighty, you guys, in this first replay, we're going to be going up against Thunder Dragon Artifacts, which is a pretty interesting concept. Uh, didn't really work out too well for him in this situation, but I feel like with a little uh, tweaks here and there, the deck could run a lot more smoothly. So, you know, keep working on that thing, man. 
Um, but anyways, on our side, we got the Deep Sea Frogs here. We're going to be going first. Deep Sea Frogs is a going first deck. You kind of want to build up a board, and then you want to stop your opponent from being able to make their board and or break your board. So that's how the deck plays. Let's see how it goes, and let's see if we are able to do the things that the deck is supposed to, well, you know, do. We're going to start off by discarding a water monster and special summoning our Swap Frog. From there, when Swap Frog is special summoned, you're able to uh, dump a water monster from your deck into the graveyard, but he's going to stop us with a nice old Ash Blossom. Uh, but that's okay, because Swap Frog has an ability where you can bounce it back to the hand, and then you can special summon it again by discarding another water monster. From there, when that effect is activated, I can dump a frog into the grave, and then I'm going to go for my normal summon. Uh, when you normal summon Deep Sea Diva, you're able to special summon a level 3 or lower uh, Sea Serpent from your deck. We're going to special summon Deep Sea Minstrel. Oh, that's not Deep Sea Minstrel. I lied to you guys. I'm a dirty liar, and I deserve to go to jail for really not that long. All I did was lie about a Yu-Gi-Oh card, okay? We're going to actually get special summon Deep Sea Artesian, okay? When Deep Sea Artesian is special summon, uh, you can dump a card into the grave and then special summon a Water Monster. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to dump a card, then we're going to special summon our Ronin Tonin. From there, we're going to special summon uh, Marincess Coral Anemone. Uh, Coral Anemones are going to allow us to get Swap Frog back on field. When Swap Frog is special summoned, we're going to dump another frog in the grave. And from there, we're going to Ronin Tonin our way into uh, Marincess Great Bubble Reef. Uh, Great Bubble Reef is pretty cool. She's kind of our big beater of the deck. Uh, she's going to allow us to banish stuff into the graveyard during standby phases in order to get a draw. And every time a monster is banished, or I think maybe it's just a card in general. Yeah, no, it's just a monster. Anytime a monster is banished, uh, she gets a 600 attack point boost. And it's not once per turn, but it is only up until the end of the turn. Uh, also, her secondary effect is also pretty nice. Once per turn, you can special summon a Marincess from your banish pile. So usually I'm going to be banishing a Marincess Coral Anemone just so I could be able to special summon her out on my turn. So yeah, let's keep going. Oh yeah, also, Nemesis Umbrella. When uh, you got a banished guy, you can shuffle it back into the deck and then special summon. So yeah, that's free special summon. From there, we're going to go into our Halky plays. Halky's going to get us Gradle Slime Jr. Gradle Slime Jr. is going to get us uh, Totally Awesome. So, you know, this is a pretty nice board. This is kind of how you always want to end your first turn board. If you can do better, that's all great. But this is kind of what I've been able to do consistently. So, yeah. From there, in our standby phase, we're going to be able to banish a card, to draw a card, and also get a nice little attack boost. Um, from here, also, we're going to be able to special summon a frog from the deck using Totally Awesome's effect. And off of the normal summon, we're going to pitch our guy, Christron Halky Fibrax, in order to get a Desert Locust. Desert Locust is going to allow us to snipe a card out of our opponent's hand. And then immediately, we're going to go into uh, our Synchro Summon, get our Dragite. That's going to get us a Spell Trap Negation. So now we got an Omni and a Spell Trap Negation. It's pretty nice. Oh, yeah, we also get that nice attack boost. We're at 44,000 right now. Or 4,400, my bad. That's way too big. Uh, he gets an effect. Uh, whenever uh, I activate an effect, he gets to set an uh, artifact. And then, you know, he gets to banish things with special summon stuff. You know, he's playing Thunder Dragons and Chaos stuff. You know how that goes. You, 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 you know how that goes. Uh, I'm just going to keep getting bigger. <laughs> 5,200. And from there, he's going to make uh, the Black Luster Soldier guy so he can swing over my Totally Awesome. And then he's going to go and banish uh, my Bubble Reef. So, you know, that happens sometimes. He's going to go on to my turn. I'm going to draw. I'm going to search my Torrential Tribute. And then from there, I'm going to Ronin Tonin my way into another frog, maybe. No, I'm going to make a Marincess Coral Anemone so I can special summon a Swap Frog so I can dump a nice another Swap Frog so I can go into a Ronin Tonin again. So I can go into another Christian Halky Fibrax, and then from there I'm going to go into a Toad. Then we're going to go into our battle phase, and then I'm going to swing for some nice damage. It is then going to go into his turn. I'm going to put down my uh, Torrential Tribute, and I'm going to negate his uh, Morale Tack effect, because 
I did not want him blowing up anything. So, yeah. Uh, from there, uh, I wanted to send Drag Guy back to the field so I could make him... To back to the field. I wish I could send him back to the field. Uh, yeah, I wanted to send him back to the extra deck so I could make him next turn. But I kind of messed up on my part because I needed Toad to make another frog so I can go into the link play. Not link play, the synchro play. So, yeah, I kind of just sent him to the extra deck for no reason. But it's okay because this guy quits. Oh wait, my, my my mic isn't working. And when I when I said mic, I meant mouse. So yeah, sorry for that sound. I don't know why that sound happens. I need a new mic. I I don't need a new mic. I need a new mouse. Why do I keep getting mic and mouse mixed up? I'm sorry. Can, can we just press play, please? Um, from there he's gonna feather duster and then quit. So yeah, that that's the ending of that. I don't know why that took so long. But yeah, that's the first replay, you guys. Man, let's go to that second one, man. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, in the second replay, we're going to be going up against Shadow Zombies. And in this duel, man, we're going to be going second. And I just wanted to show a duel where we go second because I did say earlier that this is a going first deck. So you usually do not want to go second. But this deck can also play through some hand traps, some disruption. So if you do go second, you won't be too you know, messed up, you know, you, you'll be able to maybe pull something out your butthole, you feel me? So yeah, let's play, let's see what happens. He's gonna go first by playing some face downs, you know how shadows go. Um, from there, I'm gonna try and search a torrential, that's gonna go through, and then I'm gonna swap frog, he's gonna hit me with the ash blossom, but I got the call by the grave, you know how it goes. Um, from there, I'm going to normal summon Deep Sea Diva. Deep Sea Diva is going to give me the Artesian. Artesian is going to allow me to dump and then special summon my Gradle Slime. Gradle Slime uh, is just going to sit there and be nice with no effects. I don't know why I brought out Gradle Slime. He's doing good. He's cool. Um, yeah, from there, I used Artesian and Spot Frog to make a Marincess Coral Anemone. And from there, I'm going to be able to special summon Swap Frog again so I can get another dump. Dumps are nice. From there, I'm going to. Get a Halky Fibrax. Halky Fibrax is going to allow me to special summon another Gradle Slime Jr. Two Gradle Slime Juniors definitely make a totally awesome. So we're looking nice right now. Uh, we're going to special summon a Dupe Frog. So that's pretty nice. He's going to flip his guy face up. I'm going to Desert Locust so I can send a car from his hand to the graveyard. And that's really not the best situation for me seeing as though he's playing zombies. But you know, I didn't know that at the time. Uh, from there, he's going to use a Super Poly in order to make El Shadal Shekinaga. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Using my Desert Locust, so that's kind of lame. I won't be able to get the uh, Synchro play. Uh, he's going to be able to Special Summon his Doom King from Grave using Mizuki. Uh, then he's going to attack over my Dew Frog. Uh, when he's destroyed, it's going to allow me to Special Summon my Cataclysmic Circumpolar. Please use your imagination for that last name. And I'm going to be able to get a search with Dupe Frog. And yeah, he's going to have to send a card uh, from hand to grave again. So, you know, that's two cards, man. That's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. So much advantage. Um, from there, I'm going to search a Swap Frog. And he's going to swing over my Toad. Toad is going to bring a Gradle Slime back to him. Now, interesting fun fact about Gradle Slime. Um, he is just not a target for Christian Halky Fibrax. Uh, here goes my mouse again. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't know what's going on with my mouse. I need a new mouse. Uh, yeah, so normal summoning uh, Gradle Slime Jr. will allow you to special summon another Gradle from the graveyard, and then it'll allow you to special summon a water monster with the same level onto the field. So, you actively get three summons off of one normal summon, which is pretty nice. I don't do that right now, but that was my main goal to do right now. And just showing you that you can set it up and do it, I'm about to do it, or I was about to do it, until I drew this card. And then I decided to go for another play that would probably would have been better. So yeah, let's see what I do instead. And also, I just wanted to give you guys that fun fact. Please, Gradle Slime Jr. is useful. Please. Uh, from right now, we're going to be banishing a Deep Sea Diva in order to search another Deep Sea Diva. We're going to pitch our Gradle Slime in order to special summon our Swap Frog. And, you know, when Swap Frog hits the board, we're going to be dumping stuff. So, 
And from there, we're going to normal summon Deep Sea Diva. Deep Sea Diva is going to get us Minstrel. Minstrel is going to allow us to dump three cards and then recycle one of our Gradle Slimes. Uh, from there, I'm going to blow up the field. I totally thought that I would be blowing up all of my monsters. That's why I made Salamangre Alu Mirage, so I could protect uh, Marinces Coral Anemone, because I thought my whole field was going to be blown up. But I totally forgot that I had two of these in the graveyard, so one of them is going to protect us right now, blowing up just our opponent's field, which is pretty nice, but he's going to get a lot of stuff to the hand and dump in and special summoning, so, you know, that's kind of lame. But uh, we're going to be able to do that stuff too. We're going to be able to dump some stuff and then special summon out the grave. From there, we're going to make another Toad. And then we're going to make a Ronin Tonin. From there, we're going to do the Bubble Reef. And from there, we're going to make another Ronin Tonin for a negate, just in case. Going to swing over his guy, and his effect is going to activate. We're going to negate it because we don't like when he activates things. Because it's Shadows, man. Uh, from there, we're going to banish our Marinces Cruel Anemone. And we're going to get an attack boost and a draw. Uh, Nemesis Umbrella is a nice card to draw off of here because it'll give us an extension for next play. Kind of cool. Uh, from here, we're going to be able to special summon a swap frog using Toad's effect. But we're not going to activate his effect because we have no more frogs to send to grave. Remember that. Uh, from there, he's going to activate his Shadow Fusion. But I'm going to be like, nah, don't really want to fusion summoning things. Just going to negate it. And then he quits, because, you know, he got nothing else to really do. So, yeah, man, that's uh, Deep Sea Frogs going second, man. Uh, yeah, I don't really have anything to say. It's pretty cool, pretty fun. We got to see some hand sniping. We got to see some cool stuff. So, yeah, let's go on to that next replay. Much later. Okay, you guys, this is the third replay, and we're playing up against heroes now. And in this third replay, man, I really just wanted to showcase that even with an unconventional hand such as this one, we can still pull something out of our butthole. You know what I'm saying, okay? We're going to be able to still make a board. It's not going to be the best board, uh, but we're still able to play around this not-so-good hand into something that's usable, all right? And I just wanted to show that off, show the consistency, and show the intricacy of this deck that's just what i wanted to show off in this replay and i hope that you guys are able to appreciate it man i really i really do man so let, let's go into it. let's go i'm gonna start off by normal summon a deep sea diva deep sea diva is gonna get us a deep sea artesian but the effect is not gonna go off because you need a monster in the graveyard already for artesian's effect to activate from there we're gonna go into marinces uh coral anemone and then we're gonna special summon our artesian out of the graveyard Artesian is going to then activate because we now have a water monster. We're going to be able to dump one, then special summon our diva back on the field. From there, we're going to make a Halky Fibrax. Halky Fibrax is going to get us a Gradle Slime from hand. And then we're going to end our turn. It will now be their turn. They're going to e-call. I'm going to immediately get up out of here, go to Desert Locust. From there, we're going to activate both effects. Going to send a car from their hand to grave. And then we're going to make a Don Dragster. Now that we got a negate, we're looking nice. We got some destruction. We got some negates. We're looking nice. He's going to normal summon his Stratos. Stratos is going to get us his Ferris. He's not going to be able to activate his Ferris because he has to discard another monster. So we're looking nice right now. He's going to activate Neo's Fusion for some strange reason. Um, he probably should have activated Hero Lives first. So... That could bait the negate and then Elemental Hero Stratos and then Neos Fusion. But hey, man, he, it's his deck. He can do whatever it is he wants with it. I'm just the guy playing Deep Sea Frogs. So he's going to activate his uh, Neos Fusion. I'm going to negate it. He's not going to be able to activate anything else afterwards because of his Neos Fusion. And he also will not be able to attack over anything. So he's just going to play that face down and then he's going to end his turn. It's going to go on into my turn. I'm going to normal summon Dupe Frog, and from there I'm going to make Totally Awesome. So now we're looking real nice. We got Spell Trap Negation, and we got an Omni Negate, and we got Disruption. Disruption or Destruction? Both. Both. Uh, from there, he's going to E-Call. I'm going to Negate. He's going to Hero Lives. I'm going to Negate. Don't know why he didn't do that last turn. Uh, it's going to go back into my turn. I'm going to Special Summon Swap Frog. Swap Frog's going to get me a dump into here. Then I'm going to send Swap Frog back to hand. Then I'm going to send another. Wow, we're going fast. Let me explain what just happened. 
I sent Swap Frog back to hand, then I discarded a card in order to special summon Swap Frog back onto field, and then that got me another dump. Uh, that dump then allowed me to Ronin Tonin, uh, Ronin Tonin onto the field. Then from there, we're going to make our Marincess. Marincess is going to give me another Swap Frog. Swap Frog is going to give me another dump. That's going to get me another Special Summon. Special Summon is going to get me another Totally Awesome, and then we're going to swing. And that's how a conven unconventional hand turned into a dub, man. So yeah, it can happen, man. Uh, you just kind of got to know how to maneuver your way into <laughs> Marincess Curl an Enemy. That's really it. If you can, if you can Marincess Curl an Enemy your way into a dub, yeah, it can happen. I don't know if that sentence just made sense. Just know Mincess, Mincess, just know Marincess Coral and Enemy is a dog in this deck. It's a dog, man. So yeah, let's get into that next replay. Three hours later. All right, team, we're going to find ourselves in the first duel playing up against Cyber Dragons. Uh, I haven't seen Cyber Dragons in a long time. To be honest, whenever uh, I see this card, Cyber Emergency, I automatically think that they're going to be playing, uh, what's their name, Drytrons, man. Dude, I'm so glad to see Cyber Dragons back. You can't kill them, man. They just keep on coming back, man. Shout out to Cyber Dragons, man. But let's see how they do up against uh, Deep Sea Frogs, man. Uh, we're going to start off by hitting that one for one. We're going to get our Artesian on the field. Artesian is going to dump a card. Perfect situation right here. We dumped our Fury of Kairu Shin. I don't know if I'm saying that right still, but totally perfect dump. We're going to be getting that protection from... Uh, what is it, card effects? Yeah, card effects. We're going to get that protection from the good old card effects, man. And we're going to get a special summon. We're going to get that Duke Frog on the field. And that's going to allow us to do some Marincess things. Oh, no. First, we're going to normal summon our Deep Sea Diva and get our uh, Deep Sea Minstrel. Minstrel is going to go to Grave so we can make our Marincess. Marincess is going to special summon our Minstrel. Minstrel is going to dump three more in there. From there, we're going to Crystron Needle Fiber so we can get our Gradle Slime. Gradle Slime is going to go into our Totally Awesome. Oh, well, along with Dupe Frog. Dupe Frog was there, too. He helped. And we're going to end our turn. We're just going to play it off safe, man. Uh, we're going to Special Summon our Dupe Frog off of that uh, Special Summon. From there, we're going to pitch our Crystron Hockey Fibrax. Did I say Needle Fiber earlier? I meant to say Hockey Fibrax, but Needle Fiber is a better name. I don't know if I said that before. I think that's a better name. Uh, we're going to go for our Desert Locust. You know Desert Locust is going to allow us to snipe a card out the hand. And then from there, I'm going to Fusion Summon to my Don Dragster. He's going to discard the Cyber Dragon Core. Uh, then he's going to banish it in order to special summon Cyber Dragon straight from deck. He's going to activate a spell card, but I'm going to be like, nah, I'm not really interested in seeing that. Then he's going to put down some face downs in his turn. Going to go for another special summon, get our Swap Frog on field so we can get that good old Dumpy Dump. We're going to send Swap Frog back to hand so that we can special summon back out by discarding a Ronin Tonin, and then we're going to get another dump. From there, we're going to banish our Marincess in order to uh, get a search. Then we're going to Ronin Tonin our way into a special summon, so that's cool. From there, we're going to make Bubble Reef, and we're going to, I guess, add Min try to add Minstrel back to hand. Uh, he's going to activate a Trap card. Uh, allowing him to special summon a fusion monster, but that's not going to activate anytime soon because I'm going to Dawn Dragster. From there, I'm going to get Minstrel back to hand. Minstrel is going to allow me to special summon, well, my bad. I'm going to get a Minstrel to hand. I'm going to normal summon a D.Va. D.Va is going to allow me to special summon a Minstrel from deck, and then the Minstrel is going to allow me to dump some more cards in the graveyard. Uh, from there, I'm going to be able to discard a card to activate Marincess Great Bubble Reef's effect. Which allows me to special summon a Marincess from my Banish. From there, I'm going to get another Swap Frog on field. And I'm going to make a Dragite because I only had one more Negate left with my uh, Dawn Dragster. And uh, Adam Emancipator Dragite just has more attack. You know how that goes. Uh, from there, I'm going to make a Crystron uh, Hockey Fibrax because, you know, I like doing that. Going to go into another Ronin Toten so we can get a Toad. And then we're going to swing. And I think this is going to be game. Uh, we're going to negate that because yeah, I'm trying to finish up this match right here, my guy. Sorry. Uh, from there, we're going to send a Toad back to Extra Deck. And this is going to be enough to finish him off. So, yeah. Shout out to Cyber Dragons, man. Next duel. Much, much later. All right, you guys. In this last and final duel, we will be going up against the Devil. 
Yes, I said it, folks. We will be going up against the devil. And this is true. This guy is the devil because he is a Mystic Mind player. No shout outs to the Mystic Mind players. Boo to the Mystic Mind players. Boo! Please stop, Mystic Mind players. You know that we don't like it, and you still do it anyways. Have you no shame? Okay, I know this guy, he's, it looks like he's playing some fiend stuff, but that's all just some charade shenanigans. He's playing like Burning Abyss, Mystic Mind, which is actually kind of interesting. Uh, you know, you drop all the stuff that you want to drop into the graveyard and, you know, get the BA effects, uh, like the banishing and the dis destruction and stuff like that, and actually never special summon anything and just play from your graveyard and do the Mystic Mind stuff. That's kind of cool, but I don't like Mystic Mind, so... I hate you, Mystic Mind player. But also, that's not what I wanted to talk about. What I want to talk about here is that this is a cautionary tale. I had all the keys in order to outplay this deck. But my hubris, my inability to stay focused in my time of need, and my... Inability also, because I have a lot of inabilities, my other inability to not remember how many frogs I dumped into the grave, okay? This is one thing about the deck that I've come across. This deck sends frogs to the graveyard like it ain't nobody's business. So you might end up in a situation where you send too many frogs and then you play a swap frog and the swap frog is like, oh, the only thing that I can send to the grave is myself. And then you get into a situation like this. So this is a cautionary tale, man. I could have won this duel, but I made one grave mistake and it cost me everything. Let's just see how it goes. All right, we're going to start off with the instant fusion. You know, we need the Millennium Eyes Restrict just in case he has any hand traps. We're going to dump a Ronin Toten into the grave. We're going to bring Swafra back to the hand. And then we're going to send him back to the field with the good old normal summon. From there, we're going to dump another card. Then we're going to run and toad in our way into a special summon. We're going to Marincess our way into another Swap Frog. Swap Frog's going to get us another monster into the grave. Uh, we're going to run and toad in again. From there, we're just going to go into our Totally Awesome and call it a day. With the Torrential Tribute face down. Oh, also, uh, if you can, make sure you go into Link Karibo before uh, you go into your Marincess plays because... Uh, once you go into Marincess and use her effect, you can only special summon water monsters. And by the time you get Marincess on the field, you probably did everything that you need to do and don't really need to worry about the hand traps at that time. So yeah, you can go for that Link Karibo. Or you could just let him go to the graveyard just in case you're afraid and you just want uh, that protection for that whole time you're doing plays. So I mean, he's also good to keep on the field too. And you really don't need the Link Karibo. He's just there just in case you need to go into him. Um, so yeah, his turn. He's just going to play some face downs. He's going to do some some door stu shenanigans. I didn't really like the door shenanigans. And I, he's going to supply a squad. You know how that goes. When his get, stuff gets destroyed, he's going to draw. Uh, I'm going to special summon a frog. Frog's going to let me dump. From there, I'm going to spill some another swap. Swap's going to let me dump. Then I'm going to make a bubble reef. Bubble reef is going to allow me to have just some space to normal summon a diva to get an artesian. Artesian is going to allow me to get another swap frog. But that's just for show. From there, I'm going to get a Marincess guy. Not Marincess. I'm going to get a deep sea minstrel. Don't know why I special summon deep sea minstrel. Probably because my two... Guys are in the grave. Yeah, two Gradle Slimes in the grave. So that, that's what happened there in that situation. And then I'm just going to attack him. Uh, he's going to activate his Fiendish Rhino, and the Supply Squad's going to go off. I'm going to negate his Fiendish Rhino because I don't want him sending Fiends to the graveyard because I don't want him to be able to get effects and stuff. Uh, I send my other Toad to the grave and send it back to the extra deck. From there, he's going to flip over his Scapegoats, and I guess that's cool. From there, we're just going to attack his scapegoats because we don't like scapegoats. Oh, there it goes. The dastardly uh, mystic mind. And here goes the mess up. Let's go back for those who didn't, who didn't see that right there. Oh, my goodness. Whew. All right. Sorry about that, folks. That was very strange. I don't know why that happened. But uh, we're back. I rewinded it a little bit. So we're going to go right into their turn. And we're going to see where I messed up. 
with the toad. All right, so we're going to go into our standby phase here. His effect is going to activate. I'm going to be able to special summon a frog. Frog is going to activate his effect. Not that one, but this one. This frog right here is going to activate his effect when I have all my frogs in the grave or they're banished. So from there, he's going to have to send himself to the graveyard. So here we go. Lame. So now I won't have a monster to synchro into with Hawk Fibrax. Therefore, I won't have a Dragite. I'm going to discard a card from his hand. Going to get the attack boost. He's going to discard his Fiend Guy. Then he's going to go on to Nightmare Cerberus. Nightmare Cerberus, he's going to destroy my totally awesome. I'm going to negate that because, I mean, like, why wouldn't I? I need to get a monster off the field. But also, I probably should have kept him on the field so he wouldn't have activated uh, Spell Mining Cave. Spell Mining Cave. Mystic Mine. So that was all a part of his plan. He outplayed me on that one. But if I would have had Dragite on the field, I would have been able to negate the Spell Mining Cave. So, ah, man, I really wish I would have had the two negates. So from there, I'm going to send Toad back to the hand. Or, I mean, extra deck. Oh, and then he draws into his field barrier, too. So that's awesome. So, yeah, now I'm up against uh, Mystic Mine Field Barrier Supply Squad Turbo. And I really can't do anything at this point. So your boy puts everything face down and he just takes the L and he quits because I'm not going to play up against Mystic Mind because I hate you. All right, that's, that's the replays. I'm going to get you guys in the deck list. 346 minutes later. All right, folks. So there you have it, man. Deep Sea Frogs, man. And... All the great things that they can do and stuff. Um, this is kind of where I would tell you guys some recommendations. But honestly, I don't have any recommendations. I've kind of been playing this deck for a long time. Uh, I've kind of been swapping stuff out and trying out different things. I mean, I'm not really much of a combo guy with the extra deck. So maybe if somebody had put together a better extra deck, then, you know, that would be cool. But... I mean, right now, this extra deck suffice is really nice. Uh, you know, you just go for your Hulk straight into your Desert Locust into one of these two guys, and you got the two negates. Maybe there's a better way. I mean, like I said before, I'm not really the combo kind of guy. All I need is a, you know, one or two negates. I'll be cool. But uh, if you could think of a better extra deck, that'd be great. Uh, you don't really need Link Karibo. Uh, I would uh, recommend keeping Salaman great if you do, because sometimes... You just need to normal summon and get a guy into the graveyard. Uh, because some of these effects need a monster in the graveyard, like a Deep Sea Minstrel and Deep Sea Artesian need monsters in the graveyard already for their effects to activate. So you want to maybe normal summon a Ronin Tonin and then uh, go into uh, Salaman Great Alu Mirage and then maybe one for one and get the special summon and then get your plays going. So yeah, definitely want the Salaman Great in there just in case you need to normal summon. It doesn't happen all the time. But uh, it happens a good bit to where you need him in the deck. Uh, Link Karibo, not so much. Uh, because, like I was talking earlier, uh, Instant Fusion, uh, Millennium Eyes, Water Monsters, can't really go into it. So uh, I'd take it out if I were you. But that's pretty much it. Everything else in the deck is pretty solid. Um, yeah, that's, that's, I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, maybe you guys could take these guys out. Uh, the Cataclysmic Circumpolar guy. It's cool in the deck. Helps out uh, whenever your monsters get destroyed to just slam another one on there. Because as a control deck, it is like eh, you can get blown up and then not have anything for your next turn. So it's kind of good to have like a follow up. Like, oh, you destroyed my monsters. Slap this guy down and discard a card. But really not needed. It's kind of a win more kind of card situation. Um... If you could find anything else to throw in here, the deck works totally fine without this card. It's just, yeah, I liked it and wanted to try something else out, and it worked. It, it, it worked well with the synergy that I had going on here. So, yeah, man, um, if there's anything else, I mean, any recommendations, if you guys find anything cool for the deck, any cool text, let me know. Put it in the comments section. I will have this full uh, deck list in the description and i might also put it in the comment section for those who are too lazy to go into the description and those that are too lazy to make it all the way to the end of this video <laughs> so yeah 
it'll be in the description and maybe the comments section for you guys to check out so you guys can get all the cards and stuff. So yeah, man, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you liked the video, if it entertained you, you know, hit the subscribe button, you know, maybe hit a like, maybe, you know, maybe even put down a comment. Let me know what you thought, man, you know. That would make my day better. You know, I'd smile and whatnot. But I think that's it. I think I'm going to have to skedaddle. I need to find some scuba diving gear if I'm ever going to roll around in the mud with these pigs. So got to go to the thrift store. Catch you guys later.